Guys, don't start in here. Don't start. How are you feeling, Kevin? So the majority of the day was spent on a cross-examination of an alleged uh, victim who testified yesterday that she had been abused by Epstein with the help of Maxwell starting when she was 14 years old. Uh, began at his Florida state and also uh, reoccurred in his New York mansion. Uh, there were some timeline issues, but main, mainly today they were confronting her with initial FBI reports dating back to 2019, where she was very vague in her accusations against Max, Maxwell, saying things like she wasn't necessarily sure whether Maxwell was even there, couldn't remember the details of her role. Uh, so they were trying to show inconsistencies in her statements. Well, this was a key witness, and she finished today. She was cross-examined, finished today uh, by explaining the reason she wasn't more forthcoming about her accusations in the beginning of talking to prosecutors was that it was just too painful for her to talk about, and that over time she began to relax with them and was able to provide more details that were very explicit about what was done to her. Another witness that prosecutors put on was a former boyfriend who she confided in uh, about Epstein and the fact that he was paying her money for things that she told him, the boyfriend, she didn't really want to do. Even inside the court house in the courtroom, there's a lot of anticipation around this. Uh, so yeah, there's there's buzz out on the street and in the in the courthouse itself.